Hello, my name is Cal Molinay from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, we're here at the Compass at VCU to spread the message of freedom. And so I'd like to thank you, all of you, of course, for, uh, for the helping with the donations to supply, uh, I guess, the cost of this table, for example. This is our first activist table. Uh, and of course, the, the thousands of copies of pamphlets have been managed to, to publish and uh, print out and to pass around to help supplement the information after the conversation, of course. Uh, so we have here our 1984 George Orwell, uh, Stefan Molyneux's Everyday Anarchy, uh, Ludwig von Mises, Human Action. Larkin Roses, The Most Dangerous Superstition. Ayn Rand's The Fountainhead, No Haters. And uh, <laughs> Zoe Solitin's Everything I Want to Do is Illegal. And of course, the quotable Mises by Mises himself. <laughs> and we have our fellow freedom fighter, a soldier, foot soldier for freedom. Uh, my name is Matt Bonaglioli. And today we're going to spread anarchy and do what we do best, trying to end the state. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Share and subscribe if you can, and see you guys at the Victory Party. Take good care. All right? And at the same time, government is even funded to war by us, because no point can say, I do want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war. Right? You have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give government your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice of how to allocate your own resources, what to do with your own money, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes, right? So that's the secret, that's, that's the hidden violence behind government, that's how it's immoral. It contradicts that position that we already have, and I guess the initiation of force of violence towards the only thing that government only knows how to do. It only knows how to solve problems in one way, a singular way, and that's to the threat of a new of violence to solve any problems, versus the plurality of non-violent solutions that us three, four here, five altogether already share. So what are your thoughts on that? I think you're assuming the only tool of government is violence. Uh, government exists on the consent of the governed. I mean, obviously, by living in this in this nation, by I mean, the, according to the social contract, people set up a government to because they agree on certain rights, certain laws. Sure. Okay. Obviously, that killing is not acceptable, and therefore, the idea is that the government protects your security in that way. Okay. All right. And uh, and so I would ask, like, if you had a contract with AT&T, you can produce that contract. If you had a contract with a mortgage contract with a variable interest rate, you can produce it as well. So I would ask, can you show me your contract you have with government? Constitution Bill of Rights. Can you show me your signature? Formal consent to it. Formal consent? No. But if I choose to move out of the country right now, I can move. Uh, you don't. You can't. You have to ask permission still. Yeah. I wouldn't say that's free. You have, you to, have to buy a passport. I have to ask. Have to per I don't have to. Ask, I have to ask permission to leave. I have to ask permission to get it, go into another country. Right, but you need to get a passport. You need still ask for permission for the piece of paper and approval, which you won't get. There used to be a time where you never had to ask permission, where you could freely travel. There used to be a time where you didn't have more freedoms in the past. But slowly, as the encroachment of the government continues to get bigger, getting we continue into to lose. It's the sacrifice of security for him. Well, I, for I security. want security. No, it's not. That doesn't have to be. That, that, that too, doesn't have anything to do with. Yeah, those two can, can very much be the same. So government, objectively, is they have a monopoly on the services we want. I too want security. I want roads. I want a lot of the services the government provides. Unfortunately, it's, I want those services to be provided voluntary as a business, as a free market solution, right? Okay. Uh, what government has a monopoly on roads, like USPS, they have a monopoly on delivering pieces of paper. No one is allowed to compete. It's illegal and criminal for anyone to compete against USPS and deliver right. pieces of paper. Uh, in the tax form of Virginia is illegal for anyone to compete against ABC and the monopoly of pistol spirits, right? The wholesale retail sale of pistol spirits, right? The prohibition is still alive. So I want these services, but I want the freedom to be able to cancel or unsubscribe as they would any other service. Like Netflix started to raise their prices a few years ago overnight, people like cancel and subscribe, fuck that, go to Hulu, right? You have choices, you have options. You still have the option though to write your uh, representative. You still have the option to be more informed about what your representatives are doing. If they aren't doing what you want them to do, supporting the ideas that you want them to do, the other guy. Well, ultimately, that means that you, every, every bit of freedom that you have is basically the uh, rest of the idea that people who agree with you are bad. You don't need to act strangers. The rest of the idea that the, the majority of the people agree with that. Why do I have to be subject to the opinion of the majority? Because you live in a, a society of the majority. I mean, after there all, has to be room if, if you decide that, hey, listen, right to kill somebody. Yeah, you thought it was wrong. I mean, who is necessarily wrong? Or, except for or you don't even have to go violent. You, you say, hey, I think it's right for me to take that tie off you. Right. right. What's the stop? Oh, that's that. wonderful. We can still have security in a free market, uh, free market society. We have competing but services. This is, I'm well, not the problem with competing you. services is that competing services aren't necessarily. 
regulated in the way that the government is often regulated. Well, the government doesn't really regulate much of anything, but restricts your freedom. Right, and they should regulate certain things better. So, so think there can still be regulation. I mean, before you sign up for any service, you look in the past history, you want to see your customer service reviews. I've been in the business for 10 years. I can throw in guarantee a million dollars. If I remember harmful reviews to you, the consumer, uh, you know, uh, we can go to an arbitrary of your own choosing, right? No uh, monopoly on the law that exists here today. You have a plurality, you have a polycentric legal system. You have competing people to say, I will provide you a fair and impartial judgment. I will not throw you to a case because I don't like what you wear. Okay, so what what's uh, what solution do you have for this? That private firms run post uh, I guess, what else? Uh, yeah. Would, yeah, free market competition. And all free market voluntary, consensual. Okay. No we're more talking snail about, mail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're talking about contracts, right? Okay, what... Uh, what right services do you believe should be voluntary and which should Everything. be voluntary? Everything should be Everything voluntary. Should be voluntary. Yeah. Voluntary police? Yeah, police. Yeah, police privatized police too. I mean, yeah. the, I think that could get out of control. You don't, have a cop is you don't think it's out of control now? I mean, it I is out of control now. And, uh, I think it would be worse. It, it, look at private contracting for firms across, overseas. Uh, the Blackwater, yeah. So Blackwater, for example, are funded through tax money. That's, that you have no choice where that goes to. So but they're also uh, pri so they're, they're not privatizing they're, this. They would not exist. They're owned by private companies. Their their money so comes from taxes. That's more like yeah, which is not spent by representatives, uh, by, by people, by strangers. You take my money. I am by an adult. Strangers I can make you elected and put in that position. Would you say that you can, you're a competent human being? You can make your economic decisions for yourself. You don't need strangers to decide that for you. Yes. Okay, then we don't need politicians political rulers to decide that for us. But the way our government is set up is a Republican government. government. Uh, since I've been alive, I guess I stopped voting when I realized that uh, I'm just choosing for the lesser two evils, but evil still evil. I'm choosing for a stranger to be my political master, and I don't need a political so master. So I agree that, I mean, nine times out of ten, you're choosing the lesser two evils. So what makes your option versus the current option? <laughs> because I mean, his, his option, you don't have one person who has to decide things for everybody. It's everybody you don't have one their own self. Well, one what you What you're talking about is direct democracy. I'm not talking about any of direct democracy. Uh, that's what democracy it sounds like. That's yeah, I guess it could sound like that. But, uh, but so what I'm what I'm advocating okay. is, is that each individual is responsible for their own choices, right? Okay. I'm responsible for my own actions and the consequences thereof, right? Mm -hmm. Let's start from there, from the individual level, right? Okay. A stranger cannot dictate what you can and cannot do with your own body, right? That, that, that's kind of outlandish, but that's what politicians are. They're strangers who can tell you what you can and cannot do with your own body, but you yourself cannot tell that politician the same thing, right? So they have to abide by the rules that they set too. The, the rules that they have exceptions to. The rules apply only to us tax lists, not to politicians. They're able to skirt all of that. I mean, they, they do it all the time. Which is a flaw in the system that needs to be addressed by the people. So, so but who's the people? It's just the majority us. of people. The majority of you, people. Well, what if we don't agree on one solution? To then you write something, you raise awareness, you get people to vote on. So you if I was saying, if I did want to smoke a plant for something, I could, everybody has to agree with me that I can, I can do this, or to be on my own property and do something. Not everybody. Like just no, the majority. Just the majority. majority. Just no, majority. That's fifty-one percent. This means without rules. That's you can have rules. I want rules. I just don't want to be local rules. So how do you choose? You need to accept political rules if you want rules. How do you choose the rules to put in place? Perfect. All right. So this is where we go. So. So what Virginia is, for example, is one forced majority uh, community unto everyone, right? Everyone has to follow the majority preference, right? The cannabis is bad for everyone, even if you feel like it's okay for you. So it's forced unto everyone, one forced preference unto everyone. So instead of one forced community, you have thousands of competing communities. Just like you have kind of an example today, you have like your golf course communities, people like golf, people have those homeowner associations, they pay for the roads, they pay for the security. You just have thousands of competing communities that cater to your lifestyle preference. You can have an apartment complex. It's but in having family. thousands of these communities, you're also sacrificing Sacrificing the security of the of the United States as a whole. Well, I was some in the military, so do you feel that the security of the United States as a whole was to defend your freedoms or grant you more freedoms? It's failed. It's failed to defend your freedoms. The freedoms that we're losing today is not overseas, but here at home. You know, you can't say that you're freer today than you were five years ago, ten years ago, fifty years ago. Right? It's here at home by the very same politicians that are robbing us of our freedoms. Right? But you, want, you want to talk about social contracts? I want a real contract. A real contract with my community Wait, that you're says gonna, to safeguard right, my own freedom. But what you're getting at that has a tangible. That's real. But ultimately, now, everything you're arguing at is because... Right, it's true. You, Cross Brownies is awesome because businesses do that all the time. You have a lot of uh, contracts with one another. AT&T has contracts with Sprint to use their service uh, antennas, for example, to transmit uh, signals. Sometimes they're not able to cover a particular yeah, yeah. area. So there's a lot of business cooperation that goes on with that. Yes, but everything you're arguing at essentially stems from the root of one thing. The majority of the voters don't vote on local issues. They don't talk to representatives. It's not working as it was designed to have worked. Well, how was it designed to work? It was designed with the idea of everyone participating in the government. People don't participate in the government. People don't make educated decisions. The reason why the federal government is allowed to do so much of what it does is because people don't vote against these issues. They don't raise The reason why it's allowed to do what it does is because people say you have a monopoly on the institution of violence and force. So you, can, you have the right to send people from a federal agency to my house 
and then hold a gun to my head and say you have to abide by these certain rules the majority is set. But you would say you, you would advocate for voluntary consensual interactions, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So everything has to be consensual interactions. So I would I would like all these security. I'm saying yeah. the the government is a is something that could work better if people were actually more involved, more informed about the day to day uses of the government. Uh yeah, it's true. I mean, you can have the but like ascribe to which is your solution to this is basically that we would have more uh, private firms providing these services, which would in turn require that the um, people subscribing to these services be more informed. It's a solution that would work for if people were more informed of what's going on, the, the regular government would work the same. Basically, basically your solution would force people to be a little bit more aware of yeah, kind of like if you're gonna choose a however, MacBook, you choose however what's the probably right gonna happen though you. is I think that if it were to fall that way, we would still do the same thing we always do. In other words, rather than go to say Target or Walmart, we would go to the, the wholesale provider, the person who provides the majority of the services, the person who's easiest to get to. But that's a because choice. people make, but people always make the choice to go to the easiest option. Yeah, sure, and that's okay. wonderful. But at least yeah. they have, at thousands, least they have the choice. At least they have thousands of competing apps. So, so like right. with politics, you only have this politician is going to feed you bullshit, and another politician is going to feed you more bullshit. And, and the seller is going to feed you bullshit. Too. No, no, no. The seller is voluntary. Yeah, the seller is but he still feeds you bullshit. If you go to a food, or like a food court, the most aggressive way they are is like try this free sample. That's a seller. Because a they're regulated. A politician is going to lie to you, take your money, and it's going to disappear after four the years. The seller is also regulated. There are plenty of private people that will lie to you and take your money. Sir, so you can still have high centers legal system. Yeah, uh, uh, I guess being, business uh, can go out of business. Being a victim of fraud. Yeah. No, but the government changes over when people vote certain people out of office. Would you say that it's a measure of success that after 75 years we find what have the freedom and smoke a plant? Do you think that's a measure of success of government for trying to safeguard our freedom? I think people have only wanted to do it since, I mean, for forever. Well, but, I mean, they've wanted to do it for a while, but they wanted to do it has mass spread to, since the 60s. Yeah, so, 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 so 75 years, you find game one scrap of our freedom, but I've lost so many of us the same amount of time. Would you we, say that that's a measure of success? I think what it is, is it's a measure of the stability of the government. The government was made, so it's changes slowly and gradually. The government was never made voluntary consensual. It was only made by 37 people who signed that contract for themselves. Aware. No other people I'm saying it's it. worked. It's never worked. What, the idea to force contracts onto babies? How is that voluntary consensual? Well, hey, what, in what world is a baby able, able to make exactly. life decisions? Exactly, so how can you say that this is founded consensual But what, in what, in what they world? Can't. So what would you have a baby do? You, 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 uh, the baby, I guess, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about baby contract. Where, where, where you, you would maybe contract their services. Where, where, no, no, no. I'm just saying you, to support the constitution for a social contract to support the idea of forcing contracts onto babies because it, it, it's implied that they can give implied consent, but they can't. So you their can't consent have is a often given by their adult. If they're, Guardians. Uh, uh, so that no parents can ever retract to you? Yes. So, so legal you, decisions have made that. So you're okay, but your parents forcing you to pay for Social Security, even though you had no choice when you were a little baby. Sorry, kid, you're going to have to force it, paper, even when it's time for you to retire, there's going to be nothing for you left. It's a fact of the world and something that's been there. Well, that's kind of barbarian, doesn't you? Don't you think? It's yeah, but it's a force of our parents to force a four year old to do slavery. I think, what, I think slavery. your solution would be slavery more barbaric. It's very slavery to, to enslave And I think your solution would be more barbaric. No, my solution is to have free and voluntary society. And that would work in an ideal world. It was not ideal. Well, right now we're voluntary talking about Right now, when I answered those three questions in the beginning, you said, yes, I do not use violence to solve my problems. Let's start there in a foundation of non violence. Let's start there that let's show that the initiation of force is wrong, right? Turn away from government. Let's turn to our own community and find non violence solutions in the same manner that we're ready to dictate. We don't but, use but violence to solve problems, so let's start there. Right? Let's, 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 uh, let's move away from that which contradicts our moral tradition, right? Government does it to the very beginning, right? Okay. So let, let's start there. Let's just start, start with a new foundation of our new society in a better direction that's founded on nonviolence, mm -hmm. right? And this is something you know, I'm not trying to. Better, the yeah, yeah, I've, I've talked to you before. We'll talk to you later again. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I actually enjoyed this conversation, but I really, I'm really having a get going. I have a paper after. Yeah, my name is Cal. Matt. Matt, pleasure to meet you. What major are you? Uh, well, I was studying criminal justice here. I guess I took up the next last two semesters. So, right now. Yes, you know, hanging around with other uh, students, and, and I find that people here uh, have a lot more time to consider the information, looking into it more, versus going around to other campuses. I mean, uh, going off campus, for example. Uh, so I have some pamphlets for you guys. Hello, that was yeah. Yeah. Hello. My name's Kel. Brian. Brian, pleasure to meet you, Brian. Cool. All right. So uh, we're not even we're not even talking. That is absolutely right. Yeah. The war was fought because they were. Wait, are all these different or are they yeah, the same? Yeah, they're all different. They're all different. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't need multiple. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I appreciate what you're saying, man. I appreciate it.